Hey there, YouTube. Cheers. Thought I'd get on and make a quick video of some of my uh, recent vinyl finds for this month. I hope that everyone is doing uh, well out there. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've got a nice little pile here, so this might be a two-parter. We'll see. Uh, but I'll try and keep it brief. So I have made a few trips to the record stores um, that I go to in the month of January. And I, I don't know if I'm going to go this weekend or not. I have a lot to do. But if I do, I'll just maybe put it on next month. But um, So anyway, so um, here are some of my favorite vinyl finds from uh, the month of January. Starting out with uh, the great Rod Stewart. This is an album that was recorded during uh, the pandemic. And he released it in um, 2021 on white vinyl. And I normally don't buy a lot of current music, but this was uh, for sale open on this um nice white vinyl uh here at my local record store this month and i think he gave it to me for five bucks and it was very much worth it um i really enjoy side two side two is what i listen to the most there are a couple of songs on side one that i like but side two i listen to straight through he's got some really great songs um, there's a song on side two that's even making some social statements um, called Hold On that I really, really enjoy. And so I included that in uh, my list this month. I do recommend it if you find a copy of it at a, at a good deal. Next one, a little jazz. Uh, Cal Jader, vibraphone player. Soul Burst. Uh, this is a great album from, I want to say, 66. This came out, and um, he's got um, some great guests on here. Grady Tate plays drum. It's one of my favorite and I think most underrated uh, drummer. Uh, Chick Corea is playing on here as well. Uh, it's on the Verve label. Uh, I got that for 10 bucks. Great record in great shape on the Verve label really glad to get it this one was a little weird a little unique uh it's it's an ambient album by a group called uh, synergy it's called chords and it's on a, a clear vinyl and on the cover it says a revolutionary transparent recording this came out in 80 i want to say 79 or 80 I'm not sure what's so revolutionary about it. The sound quality is good. And with ambient music, it's kind of hit or miss for me. I do like some ambient music. Uh, I, I really, it's on the Passport label. And I do like some of their music. Uh, I I liked it. This is an album that I've listened to all the way through. Um, staying up late at night like I am today. Um, and I think it's a really good record. I, I just I, I paid uh, three dollars for this, so it was really cheap. But um, I, I'm not sure about revolutionary sound. It actually sounded really good. Clear vinyl when this came out in the late '70s was nothing new, as far as I know. I mean, uh, color vinyl has been um, a thing for decades and decades. So I'm I'm not sure what this was. And I should have really maybe gone online to do some reading uh, about this record and what was so revolutionary about the time. If you know, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be kind of curious to know what that was about. Then uh, the band Dublé. Uh, I, and I have uh, the captain of ours. You can see this uh, cover here is just really shot. Uh, but this is a, a nice uh, blue translucent copy. 
uh, with that blue cover. Uh, this came out in 86, I want to say. Of course, we know the captain of her heart. I'll put that in later. Uh, the captain of her heart. But there were some other songs on here uh, that I liked. Uh, Women of the World. Of course, the captain of her heart. Side 2 was really good. Um, Tomorrow is uh, probably my favorite song on this album. Uh, and Rag Ragoon Moon, Rangoon Moon. Um, I, I really did like those songs. I had kind of forgotten about it. This was only two dollars that I paid for it. Um, and as I said, I had Captain of Her Heart, I think, on 45. I've never owned that album. Uh, but when I did listen through that album, there were some really good songs on there, so I was really glad to get it for the two dollars. Of course, this cover is really shot. I don't know what happened there. It looks like it was ripped or something. Not sure. So I'll need another uh, cover eventually, but for now, that'll do. Um, then uh, classic rock band Sweet. And this album is called uh, A Cut Above the Rest. It's on the Capitol label. Uh, this was a blind buy for me. I had never heard of this band. Uh, I Side 2, I like in its entirety, and I listened to the whole thing. Side 1, there were some good songs, Play All Night, uh, Big Apple Waltz was okay, Dorian Gray, and then there's an anti-disco song, <laughs> Disco Phony, which, you know, I do like disco. I get it a lot of rock, rock, rock bands didn't feel like disco was real music, um, and this anti-disco song was okay um I, I you know i i do listen to some anti-disco music sometimes but as a general rule i'm i was a big fan of disco um then this one doo-wop gold it's a double album i'm a big fan of doo-wop i'm a big fan of 45s but finding you know that doo-wop that good stuff from the 50s into the 60s can be hard to find in good shape and it can be pricey. Um, I do have a, f a handful of doo-wop 45s um, in my collection. Most of my doo-wop comes on CD, but anytime I can get a, a vinyl compilation of doo-wop good music that sounds good, and this sounded really good. It's got some great stuff from the crest on here, of course. Uh, 16 Candles that everyone knows, but a good song called Guilty that I think was I, not as many people have heard of. Uh, some great bands on here. Uh, the Paragons, the Jesters are some uh, really great bands um, on here. Uh, the Valiants, uh, the Penguins, of course, um, the Great Earth Angel. So this was a really good collection. I liked everything on here, um, and I thought it was a great collection. It sounds good. And so I was really glad to get this uh, double album for $5. Um, this was uh, called Giant Steps Volume 1. Um, it's, it's like acid jazz on vinyl from the, like, 2000s late 90s uh galliano is a is a band on here that i was familiar with um uh, a song called prince of peace the 12 inch mix that was from the early 90s 92 was on here it's got some good acid jazz as i said from the uh, 90s on here on vinyl a lot of 12 inch versions of songs uh, what else? Uh, Cooley's Hot Box, uh, Paul Weller were a couple of the other songs. But of the 10, 11 songs on here, uh, seven or eight of them I thought were really good. And um, this was uh, $8. Uh, so it was well worth it to me. I am a fan of acid jazz and finding it, you know, that especially from the early 90s. On vinyl can be a little difficult, uh, and when you find it, it's usually really super expensive. There's an album by the band Incognito from the early 90s that uh, I really want, but 
It's like 50 bucks. Not on the, not in the budget now. Uh, another great album. Uh, this was a reissue uh, that I bought. The Spoiler from Stanley Turntine on the Blue Note label. This was, a, I want to say, like a 2016, 2017 reissue. Um, and it sounds good. Uh, this album came out in 60... I want to say 63, but I could be wrong. Blue Mitchell on trumpet, um, Julian Priester on trombone, of course, uh, Stanley Turrentine on tenor sax, the great McCoy Tyner on piano, uh, just to name a few, uh, Pepper Adams on baritone sax. Um, and so this was 18 bucks, well worth it on the blue note label sounds really good i've already i've had this album of maybe two or three weeks i've already played it all the way through twice and it sounds good sounds better every time um i hear it this was an upgrade copy for me the doobie brothers stampede uh i already had this but this is a really gr uh, much cleaner copy of the back there's some wear on there but the record itself uh, and the front looks really good. I paid five dollars for this. Uh, this was a great album. Of course, this one has "Take Me in Your Arms" in there, one of my favorite Doobie Brothers uh, songs. But this whole album is really great, and I was glad to upgrade my copy at a really good price. Uh, we'll do a little bit more. This is Shirley Caesar, her very best. I am a big Shirley Caesar fan. Uh, this is this came out in the early '80s on A and M, and so um, the, some of uh, the songs on here that I really like, "Jesus Makes the Difference to Me," uh, "He's Got It All Under Control," "Satan, You're a Liar." Uh, there's a version of "No Charge" on here that I like, um, and. You're All I Need are just some of my favorite songs on here. I'm not a huge fan of Greatest Hits compilations, but that was a really good one that I liked. Um, here's another one, uh, Dirty Tricks, Hit and Run. This is a, a, a rock band out of the 70s. They only had three albums. I've got two of the three. Um, and this one, the title track, Hit and Run, um, I've uh, had these dreams before, uh, Walking Tall, uh, are just some of my favorite songs on here on the Polydor label. This was a, uh, I think I paid $3 for this and it's a white label promo. Sounds really good. Mighty Clouds of Joy, Catching On. This is a late 80s release. Uh, for that great band on the A&M label. Uh, I am a huge fan of the Mighty Clouds of Joy. Um, this album, um, I'm Your Child, uh, his version of Love Lifted Me, what he's done for me, uh, the version of A Change Is Gonna Come, are just some of the great songs that I really enjoyed. I, I like every song on here. Um, and I didn't get a chance to listen through the whole album all the way through. I sampled everything, but this is absolutely something that, in fact, I want to leave out and probably play it um, after work tomorrow. This is an upgraded copy of Earth, Wind, and Fire Spirit. Uh, for me, the cover that I had, uh, the front was terrible. This one, like a lot, has some ring wear on it, but the vinyl is in really great shape. Uh, of course, the great uh, version of Getaway on here, uh, On Your Face, Saturday Night, are just some of the great tunes on this album. This came out in 70, 76, I think. Yeah, great record. Uh, it's not my favorite Earth, Wind & Fire album, but it's definitely up there. Another Doobie Brothers upgrade, what were once vices are now habits again this is an upgrade copy for me this was in really great shape the vinyl is in great shape uh and i got it for five dollars so i was really glad to upgrade my copy of that record this is a 12 inch single that i got uh kiara the 
the song is Every Little Time. I'm, I wasn't familiar with that song. I do like this band. They had, I want to say, two albums in the 90s. The one that I like uh, is To Change and or To Make a Difference. I do have a, a copy of that. Uh, but what I liked about this one is I didn't realize that the song I like on here this time, there's an extended remix on here uh, that I was not familiar with. And so uh, I got it for that remix. Uh, when I was cataloging this, I did notice that there was a promo 12 inch available for this time, which has the original version of this time that I really like and it's hard to get. So I've already ordered it and so I was glad to get it. So actually this, getting this for that remix of the song this time that I like led me to getting the 12 inch and I think it was like $2 or something, uh, really inexpensive. So just glad, glad for that. Uh, I'll do one or two more and then we'll do a part two. The Ohio Players Greatest Hits. This is from their Westbound days. Uh, this came out in 75, I want to say. And it includes some of their stuff from uh, The Pain, The Pleasure album, you know, Funky Worm, Vary, Is Love, Walt's Last something. What is it? Walt's Last. Uh, Walt's First Trip. Uh, or just some of the songs uh, that are on here. You know, I, I do. I want to say I have those albums, although I have not put my hands on them in my collection in quite a few years. Um, and, you know, stuff gets misplaced or, I don't know, gets thrown. You know, stuff happens to stuff. Um, so I don't know. So I just, I, I got this because, as I said, I'm not a huge fan of Greatest Hits compilations, but... Uh, uh, an Ohio Players Greatest Hits album from this uh, point, from that period, I think is it's well worth it. It was $3, and it was in really good, not perfect condition, but in good condition. And so this Steve Miller band uh, album, Sailor, um, Capital got their money's worth out of this one because this album was released in 68 as Sailor with this same cover but then in the early 70s it was reissued as living in the usa and then a couple of years later it was reissued again as sailor i want to say and this is a reissue because it says a capital reissue originally released in 1968 uh, and it is an rca um uh music club pressing on this, um, I'm, I'm not sure when this one came out because there were so many uh, reissues, uh, but it's got this, you know, mid-70s uh, Capitol Records label uh, and the, the RCA Club um, listing on Discogs that I found did not have a year. So I'm not sure when this was reissued. I have this as living in the USA the reissue, but I did not have it as Sailor. And so I got this, even though I think it's the same thing with both, but, you know, I just got it. It was $3. So we're really happy with that. So I will end it there. I do have a few more records, but I'm going to make this a part two. So thank you so much uh, for joining. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a blessed and wonderful day. And may God bless and keep you all.